Hi guys, in this video we will see how to fix an aptX touchpad driver error code 10 on Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you are also facing such type of error code, synaptic touchpad driver, then first workaround is go to Windows settings, right click on a start button and choose settings. And here from the left side, go to Bluetooth and devices. From the right side, scroll down and look for the option touchpad. Click on it. Here, make sure that touchpad option is enabled. If you found it enabled, then disable it first and again enable it. Turn off and turn on. And close the windows and check whether your synaptic touchpad driver is resolved or not. If not, go to the next fixes, right click on a start button and choose device manager. In device manager windows, device manager window will now open. Here, go to human interface devices driver. Expand it. Right click on your touchpad driver. Synaptix TPF HID device. Right click on it. And choose update driver. How do you want to search for drivers? Choose search automatically for drivers. Windows will now and check whether your error is resolved or not. If not, the one more fixes is right click on synaptic touchpad driver again and choose properties. And here from the top menu bar, go to driver and click on roll back driver. If the device fails after updating the driver, roll back to the previously installed driver. So roll back synaptic touchpad driver. And check whether your error is resolved or not. If not, go to the next fixes. Right click on a start button and choose run. Press win plus R shortcut key to launch run dialog box. And here type ms config. This command will open system configuration windows. Clean boot your system. From the top menu bar, go to services tab. Thereafter, make the check against option hide all Microsoft services and choose disable all. Thereafter, go to a startup tab from the top menu bar and open task manager. Click on this option and a startup in task manager will open. If you find any startup apps enabled in your system, simply select it and choose disable. Manually disable all the startup apps on your system through task manager. Select it and choose disable from the top menu bar. And after that, restart your system. Choose apply and OK. Restart your system and check whether your synaptic touch driver error resolved or not. You must restart your system. And if your problem is still, next workaround is right click on the start button, choose run and here type ms configuration again click on ok and here from the top menu bar click on boot and under boot option make the check against option save boot and click on apply and ok to save changes your system will now open in safe mode and your problem will definitely be